So this is the first video I'm making in a series of pre-calculus slash math analysis videos for the channel. And today we're going to be going over functions. But first we need to talk about relations, which are a set of ordered pairs in any particular order. So I have an example here where the first pair is 0, 1, the second pair is 1, 3, and the third pair is 1, 4. Now a function is a relation in which each input has exactly one output. So this relation here that I gave as the example is not a function because it has one output for 0, which is 1, but it has two outputs, 3 and 4, for our input 1. This here is an example of a function because x goes to z, our one input goes to our one output, y goes to 4, one input, one output, and 3 goes to b. The domain of a function is said to be the set of all the inputs, so the domain here is circled in red because these are all of our input values, and the range is said to be the set of all output values, so z, 4, and b, and it's circled in yellow here. I'm going to give a quick example of something that looks like this that wouldn't be a function. Okay, so this is not a function because y is one of our inputs, but it has two outputs connected to it. Now I'm going to give a slightly different example, and I want to let you guys figure out whether the next example is a function or is not a function. Okay, so given this example, I want you guys to leave down in the comments whether this is a function or not. Notice that each of the inputs here goes to the outputs, but both of these inputs go to this single output. Is this still a function? Is this allowed? Let me know down in the comments below, and we'll move on to some standard function notation. Okay, so here we've got some standard function notation. Some commonly used symbols that we use for functions are f of x, g of x, h of x, but you can pretty much use anything. A couple more standard examples of this would be maybe capital F of x is pretty commonly used, especially among higher level math like calculus 1 and calculus 2. Other functions with special uses get special letters, like this Greek letter psi of x. Okay, so over here I have an example, f of x equals x squared. The input of every function will always be in the parentheses. So in this case, over here, for all of our common examples, the x is the input of each of these functions. Over here we have the same. x is the input of f, and x squared is our output. So let's make a little chart. And on the left we have our input, and on the right we have our output. So if we input x equals 1, we get back 1 squared, which is 1. If we input x equals 2, then we get back 2 squared, which is 4. x equals 3, we get back 3 squared, which is 9. And if we do the same for negative numbers, we get negative 1 squared, which is 1. Negative 2 squared, which is 4. Negative 3 squared, which is 9. And so on and so forth. And we can do this for all inputs and outputs. As another quick question that I want you guys to put in the comments, let me know what the range of this function is. What are the possible output values for this function f of x? Okay, that's good enough for now. 